Once a father asked his son to collect a type of medicinal plant from the forest. The son was happy and went with delight. As he was traveling, he was astounded by the beauty of the forest. When he came back, he explained everything he had seen on his journey, the beautiful flowers, the flowing rivers, the gorgeous scenery, etc. After hearing everything, the father said, Son, I appreciate your observation, but you forgot your purpose. Where is the plan which I have asked you to bring? This might be a simple story, but it puts light on some of the greatest truths of life. We, as a religious brother or a priest, hold the position, but we often forget what we are called for. And that is why we, be we become lethargic and mechanical prayers, especially in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. And that is why we find ourselves sleepy during meditations. Anyhow, Jesus was a person who had kept his mission in the depth of his heart. And this can be seen throughout his life. As we are called for a purpose, we should be aware of some of the basic things of life. And today's gospel points out these basic things. As a religious, the first thing that we should be aware of is the place where we come from. And secondly, who has sent us? And thirdly, whether we know the one who sent us. By asking these questions frequently, we will be able to live a life imbued with the trademarking qualities of a religious life. This awareness of Jesus can be seen in today's gospel. As he says, I'm not here on my own authority, but he who sent me is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. This was the conviction that enabled Jesus to face the odds of this earthly life. Secondly, the gospel challenges us not to have a confusion in Jesus Christ. Verses 26 and 27 says, The people of Jerusalem began to ask, Isn't this the man that they are trying to kill? Have the authority really concluded that he is the Messiah? This confusion of the crowd made him hard to consider Jesus as the Messiah. So, we should be aware of the things that divert us from Jesus. So, dear brothers and sisters, during this meditation, let us question our conscience whether we have a deep conviction about Jesus Christ. And let us also examine our life and see whether we had forgotten our purpose of life. So let us come back to the actual, absolute meaning of our life. Amen.